story time this afternoon, thought we would read one of the Percy the Park Keeper's books because they are celebrating 30 years this year of being out for children's books. Uh, and we read one at Christmas called One Snowy Night, I think it was. Do you remember when poor Percy kept getting all oh, those knocks on the door and the animals kept coming and then they took over his house? Do you remember? Let's have a look at what this one's called. It's called Percy's Bumpy Ride. And the author is Nick Butterworth. That's the person who wrote the book. Now, what do you think is going to happen this time with a title called Percy's Bumpy Ride? Have a look what he's on. What is he sitting on? Right, let's find out. Percy the park keeper was hard at work. Right, you can help me do this. Bang, bang, bang. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Tap, tap, tapity tap. Bang, bang, ouch. Go on. Poor Percy. For th three whole days, sounds like these had been coming from Percy's workshop. What was he doing? Percy's friends, the animals who lived in the park, could only guess. I think he's making a bird table, said a squirrel. It could be a park bench, said a rabbit. It might be a... But nobody heard what the hedgehog thought it might be. Oh dear, poor hedgehog. At that moment, there came the roar of an engine. The workshop doors burst open and above the noise of the engine, they heard Percy's voice. Look at that. Oh. It's like you guys when you're inventing. Look at the animals. Make way, make way. With a great clanking sound and a lot of smoke, Percy emerged from the workshop sitting on top of a very strange machine. It is, isn't it? I don't know what this is. Percy pushed a switch and the engine coughed and spluttered into silence. Well, said Percy, what do you think? I know what I think, said the fox. I think, what is it? What do you think you might use that machine for? It's quite an interesting invention, isn't it? What do you think? Let's see if your prediction is right. This is my new lawnmower, said Percy. Are you right? Patting the machine. I've got terribly behind with cutting the grass. My old mower is so slow. But with this, I'll just fly around the park. Did it really fly? asked the hedgehog. It's a lawnmower, chuckled Percy. The propeller on top is to fan me with cool air while I'm mowing. Oh, I thought that there, didn't you? Percy turned a key and the engine clanked into life again. Come on, he said. Let's try it out. All aboard. There's all the animals getting on the lawnmower. He does love the animals, doesn't he? He always lets them everywhere. With everyone sitting on his new mower, Percy began to chug across the grass. It worked, shouted Percy, as he admired the stripe of closely cut grass behind the mower. Let's try it a bit faster. Percy pushed a lever, but what happened next took everyone by surprise. Da, da, da. And what do you think happens next? What do you think? Shall we see if your predictions are right? Here we go. The engine roared and the propeller whirled faster and faster. Then to everyone's astonishment, Percy's mower began to lift into the air. It does fly, squealed the hedgehog. You're so clever, Percy. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that, said Percy, as he struggled with the mower's controls. He was beginning to think that the propeller was not... Such a good idea. Why do you think it might not be a good idea? What do you reckon? Shall we see if you're right? At first, the flying mower seemed to be deciding all by itself where to go. But after a while, Percy found that by pushing and pulling levers, he could make the mower go anywhere he wanted. For the animals, it was very exciting. Only the ducks and the owl had ever been this high up in the air before. Why is that then? Why are they the only animals that would have been up that high before? What do you think? 
Yes, because they have something on their body that would allow them, don't they? They have wings. Right, have a look at this. Suddenly, the badger called out, Tree ahead, Percy! Oh, uh, thank you, said Percy. He pulled hard on the lever and just managed to swoop over the tall tree, mowing some leaves as he passed. Now, this is an interesting page. Look what I've got to do this time. Oh, look at that. Look at that in the distance. Look at the view. Oh. As the mower climbed high into the sky, the animals were amazed by what they could see below them. What can you spot, Puffins? What can you spot? Have a look over there. Oh, I wonder who lives in there. Look at those sheep, said one of the rabbits. They've made a shape like a hand. I think they're waving to us. <laughs> yeah, it does look like that, doesn't it? <laughs> I doubt it, said Percy. I shouldn't think they've even noticed us. I think they have noticed us, said the rabbit. Look! Let's have a look at what he's pointing at. <gasps> what have the sheep done? The sheep had now arranged themselves into the shape of a face. It looked very much like a face they all knew. Everyone waved to the sheep. Percy wished he could join them. He didn't realise how quickly his wish would be granted. Uh-oh. Who is this, by the way? It's Percy. So what is going to happen? Let's find out. Whether the spinning propeller on top of the mower had begun to feel giddy or whether it had just had enough of turning round and round, no one could be sure. But suddenly, it stopped. And just as suddenly, so did the mower's engine. <gasps> oh no, what's going to happen, Puffins? What's going to happen? That's better, said the fox. It's nice and quiet. It's quiet, said Percy, but it's not nice. We're going to crash! Uh-oh. Down went the mower and down went the mower's passengers. It's such a pity you don't have wings, said the owl. Isn't it, said Percy, as he shot past her. Oh, no, Puffins. Oh, no, can you believe your eyes? Look. The sheep below looked worried. They began to run all over the field. Get out of the way, shouted Percy. But the sheep didn't. Instead... They huddled together right under where Percy and the animals were falling. Then Percy realised what the sheep were doing. What do you think the sheep were doing? Shall we see? Now, instead of the hard ground below him, Percy looked down to see a soft, springy, woolly blanket. <laughs> the badger was first to land. As each one landed, they bounced on the soft, woolly backs of the sheep. <laughs> Even Percy, the heaviest of all, bounced three times and was safely down. That was a clever idea, wasn't it, of the sheep? Everyone said a big thank you to the sheep. They laughed and said they were very glad to help. They were only sorry they couldn't save Percy's mower. Percy looked to where the mower had crash-landed in a tree. Can you see? <laughs> I won't be using that again, he said. What will you do, said the hedgehog. The grass in the park is still very long. Percy sighed and scratched his head. Then he began to smile. Right, what do you think he might do then to cut the grass? Any, any thoughts? How is this story going to end? Right, let's see if your prediction is right. Uh, sheep, said Percy. How would you like to visit a field of lovely, long, tasty, green grass? That's a clever idea, isn't it, Puffins? Well, I hope you enjoyed that story. We'll start a new chapter book next week, OK? Right. Bye.